Hello, 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 everyone. We are back today with some Final Fantasy XIV. Continuing our adventures through a Realm Reborn, where I am battling my tank anxiety. Alright. So I guess we just uh, are going to kind of hop right into it, and we got to deliver the cheese to Whiskate. Yeah, that you solved Bray Flox's little problem. By the gods, that unholy stench, this is oh, definitely goblin cheese. Judging from the smell, this should be quite flavorful. Hmm. How is it made? Nah, it's best you remain ignorant of such things. I still remember when I learned what kind of milk they use. Oh. Bravo, Morgan. Thanks to you, our guests shall be honored with a marvelous banquet. But what good is an exotic feast without an equally exquisite ap aperitif? Ap aperitif? <laughs> Luckily, I know just the person to ask. Make your way to Wineport and seek out Shimani Lomani, another former member of the company. All you have to do is give him this order slip. He'll take care of the rest. Oh, and if you're wondering if this is merely a ploy to test your patience, I assure you... I do actually need that one. This is a little... There we go. And while you're there, give Shimani Lomani my regards. But first, we got a couple side quests that just popped that we're going to do as Paladin real quick. Kobolds are up to something. See these see those contraptions out along the road to the west? They've gone so far as to set up their damn refiners within the alms of our beach. You know what I say, it's time to blow them to kingdom come. I just happen to have made some makeshift bombs for the occasion, but uh, I've never thrown one before. Look, adventurer, I've seen you around here and you seem a capable sort. Could you take these and pitch them at the refiners for me? I'm sorry, ma'am. We've no head cheese today. Why ever not? Because the kobolds are stealing food everywhere in Costa del Sol. That's why. The tomato pies, the mashed popotos, and now the head cheese to boot. Now, I have an idea for ambushing those beady-eyed furballs, but I can't go off in these... I can't go off in case Master Dristwhites needs me. And I can't stand here and do nothing about it either, as I'm the one getting blamed for the missing eats. Might you be willing to solve this problem for me, adventurer? You look to have some spare time. I've placed the meats the kobolds like best in these five sacks. Line them up along the pier to the north, and they should come scurrying. What? Snake no pirate. I mean, snake wear an eye patch. So snake kind of pirate. How you doing, Sogo? Master Gegaruju is, of course, second to none in matters of business and connoisseurship. However... He can be somewhat naive as regards other matters. For example, he has become convinced that the recent spate of earthquakes is the fault of the large buffaloes that roam near. I would grant some amount of exasperation over our local children being mauled in the wake of the trimmers, but really now. <coughs> it's one thing to see the buffaloes in a tizzy, but another to think they could have anything to do with the quakes. 
I have tried to reason with him, but it's been to no avail. Might you simply indulge my master and slay a half dozen of the creatures? I guess... If you really want me to... Get on the cool looking bike. We definitely didn't just use a bomb where we weren't supposed to. <laughs> I walked right past one. stand. Over here. If I would have known, I would have put these down in the opposite order. Now we need to go slay six buffaloes. But we hung up on. Right, we'll go for the farther one first. And then work our way back south. I could have stunned that. It's just been so long since I played as Morgan. A whole week. slay six of these giant buffaloes. Sorry, excuse me. Large buffaloes.
perfect. Well, actually, not perfect yet. We need one more. And then it'll be perfect. Which our last one should be, like, right up over here. There he is. Those filthy ground dwellers fell for it. <clears throat> ha! I knew it. I owe you a debt. Master Dristwiz will be pleased too. And more importantly, he shan't be hitting me with the pickle ladle so much. Though between the two of us, it was I who ate the tomato pies. <clears throat> if Master Dristwiz actually knew anything about the kobolds, he would never have believed the creatures would eat such a thing. I do hope this is the end of their mischief, but I think not. From what I've observed, they seem to be readying for battle, and considering we've already got the Sahagan to deal with, I don't know that we need that kind of trouble. Nope. Oh. Uh, oh well. Uh, but thanks to you, we got them this time. I only hope you're not planning on leaving us anytime soon. I have no doubt we're going to need your help again before this is over. Listen, I need your help with a personal matter. I've mislaid something, and it's something very important to me. Medals with lions on them. As much as I'd like to go myself, my place is here. We can't afford to take our eyes off the kobolds now, but those three medals are the most precious things I own. Please, any help you can give would be appreciated. You might start your search around Goldpurge Tower. If I had to wager, I'd say it was there that I dropped them while chasing off some of our kobold friends. If you guile them to the top and give a good lookout, you might spot them. Ah, ma'am, didn't catch your name before. Morrigan, nice to meet you. Even more so because I could use your help once again. It's those quakes that started up a little while ago. The trimmers have been sending snippers up out of the water. They're bloody dangerous things to get rid of by themselves, but there's a gnarled old gripper to, tack to tackle into the bar bargain. Took a, foe, took a toe off the saltest boy not three days ago. Oh, we know how to best it, but we can't get close enough. But that's where you come in. Master Gegaruju had an alchemic concoction made that would be able to soften the old gripper's shell. Here, take it. It'll be your job to survive the ill-tempered wavekin's swipes long enough to make sure it gets several thousands. You already took care of those kobolds. Surely these shouldn't pose any challenge. I am indebted to you, kind adventurer. I'm quite certain those beasts uh, were innocent of any earth-shattering crimes, but it is well they have been dispatched regardless. In truth, I believe Master Gagaridu knows in his heart that the buffaloes are not the cause, and that it is in fact the primal titan. However, he also realized that his wealth would not avail against such a threat. While it does him credit that he strives to do right by the people of Costa del Sol, he must allow that certain problems are not within his means to solve. Ah, and so many sides. I have a more deserving adversary for you this time, adventurer. There are Urag Aragnites making their homes on the pillars below, and judging by how deeply rooted they've become, I'd say they've been there for quite a while. That said, these steel spatulas should Get you waiting, serve huh? to both dislodge the mollusks and preserve our posts at the same time. Ooh, thank you for the uh, resub, Matt. Bet you that means Bridget needs to resub. <sighs> Give me just a second. Does she need to resub?
Nope, she's got two days remaining on her sub. Not you losing track of time and missing the start even though you've been sitting here doing nothing waiting for it. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. We appreciate you showing up nonetheless, Matt. How's your, uh, well, I guess for you, technically, it would be your evening. How's your evening going? You will be amply comp compensated, of course. Thank you kindly. Oh, snap. <laughs> we had to hit that smite goal. And you know what? That does it. We hit the smite goal. Today was the last day to do it, too. So, uh, thank you so much, Matt. We're going to have to learn smite on stream. Uh, my, my morning's going great. Hold on, I'm going to update things now. We just hit that 15 sub goal for. I'm typing out what, uh. Or I'm saying what I'm typing out for Twitter right now. September! Gonna have to learn Smite on stream soonish it might take a little while honestly to get this smite stream set up because you know i got my baby being born this next week And I got one more place to update it in the Discord. The wrong Discord? There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. I think it is a fair excuse. <laughs> but, I mean, I figured the Smite stream would be kind of like the 12-hour uh, stream. Not that it's going to go for 12 hours. Um, but that it would be like a, a weekend that I would choose to play it. So, yeah, thank you so much. No, no, not 12 hours of smite. <clears throat> but it would be like a fair full at least three hours of smite. And if I end up somewhat enjoying it, it might go for five hours, like a regular stream. No. I very quickly said that, uh, not that it would be 12 hours of smite, Matt. Don't make me publish the, uh, unedited clip.
Yeah, and if you if you do cut before that happens, I'll just post the full clip. I kind of like if you did cut before it happened. I uh, feel like I should take your clip and just film like a poorly edited together thing. Making it seem like I was trying to make it look like you were lying. I... Yeah. I'm not going to say what I was going to say because I have a feeling you would be just crazy enough to maybe do it. I was going to say maybe a 12 hour 12 hours of smite total over multiple streams. Um if we hit 25 subs. Uh, Rage of Halone. Rage of Halicene. Halicene is a good band that does a lot of covers and some original songs, though. So. One more, and then we'll spawn the biggin. Stop it. Where are you? Oh, way over here. You don't need the gift for that. You'll just. <laughs> I don't know if I will. <clears throat> We've kind of had this conversation before. I don't know if MOBAs are for me. Because Nikos plays Smite on Xbox, right? So I could pick up Smite for Xbox instead of PC. Where's the tower? I literally drove right past it. This damn fate is always going when I need to do this quest. Oh, we're not at the top yet. Now we're at the top. Nope. <gasps> <laughs> Luckily, we didn't fall out. Now we're at the top. All right. Slash lookout. Cross platform as long as you aren't in ranked, though you're not certain because you think you all do on PC now. Well, damn. Do I have to be. I can't target that thing. What? <laughs> you don't know about casuals. Alright, well, I guess I'll get it for PC then, just to, just to make sure. This fate is called Careless Whiskers. I really just want to see a Kigurn with a saxophone just going at it right now. What What is Vex doing over there? Hey. Hey, Vex, you okay? You good? What you doing? 
You wanna? Okay. You just keep doing what you're doing. As long as we don't do ranked. Well, I mean, if I'm playing, we're not gonna do ranked. <sighs> I'll just get it on PC and I'll learn it on mouse and keyboard, damn it. Because I'm saying right now we're not gonna do ranked, but I get... <laughs> Oh, just in Nikos and you don't even do ranks? So no issues? Okay, then I'm just going to get it on... I'm just going to get it on Xbox then. I thought you guys all did ranked. And so I was like... If I'm going to get it, I can already see like someone trying to talk me into doing like a ranked stream as a reward. That was most quick. You are a credit to all adventurers, uh, Morrigan. You know, I've heard talk of late about what's been causing those tremors. Folks seem certain it's work of some monster. I know from experience that such words are oft not but wind, but I can't help but wonder. Thank you for having no more quests for me. Well, did you? Did you find my medals? <gasps> you did! The navigator has been kind to me this day. Every one of us got such a medal when we joined the company of heroes. And if you ever fell, your best friend would take yours. <laughs> Three friends there were, and only me left. And I can smell another war coming. Only this time, nothing is new and all the fear is old. Sometimes, I think I've lived far too long. That's dark and depressing. <laughs> ah, the pillars look sparkling. Thank you, my lady. It was only a bit of housekeeping, I suppose, but even that is beyond me. I once served in the company of heroes, if you can believe it, but a battle with the primal left me grievously wounded and heart sore. I have since kept to more mundane tasks as I've lost the appetite for bloodshed. This life has been good to me. Too many soldiers fight to defend that which they will never know, the joy of learning, the pleasure of ease, the tumult of beauty, but I have known them. Yet in my dreams of smoke and steel, I still hear my captain calling, to me, to me. Of course you have another quest. <clears throat> Sorry, I should have read that, but I didn't. Alright. Slay the Puggles. Okay. Here you go, mud puggle. Remove the carcass. Well, that was an easy and quick quest. There we go. Now we can switch back to Warrior and teleport to Wineport. Hello, Shimani Lomani. Sweat, grime, and blood. I, Eureka Blood, an adventurer, unless I am mistaken. What brings you to Wineport? An order, let me guess. A request for the finest vintage I can muster. <laughs> the paper smells of loam and perfume. Costed us all? And there's also the <coughs> unmistakable odor of goblin cheese. Yes, Master Gigaruju would not settle for anything less than the best. Dear Stwitz and his crew must be quite busy preparing an exotic feast, hence his decision to rely on an adventure. Or, oh, but perhaps you are confused. 
This display of deduction was not intended to impress you. When one loses his vision, he is forced to compensate in other ways. But you've no interest in my affairs. You wish only to discuss the wine, I suspect. Life can be so delightfully unpredictable. I always had a passion for wine, but it wasn't until I was forced to retire that I could pursue it as more than a mere hobby. It wouldn't have been possible if not for the savings I amassed during my time as a mercenary, of course. Say what you will about the nature of that work, none can deny that it pays well. <laughs> ah, but you grew impatient, and Whiskate must have his wine. Herein lies the problem. Nothing in my possession is of sufficient quality for this occasion. Listen, I'm trying, alright? The best vintages in town are hoarded by Beerglad, who owns and operates the largest winery in Vilbrand. Somehow, I doubt he will be receptive to your request, but given these circumstances, we must needs beg his assistance. I don't know what it was becoming there towards the end. Ah, Etgar. <clears throat> Hello, adventurer. Hear me, or Master Beerglint will know the reason why. I mean, that he'll simply tell you himself if you refuse to hear it from me. You've no doubt seen those ghastly grass raptors skulking around outside our gates. Well, they've developed a taste for the vines we use to grow our Brandywine cherries. If we can't abide that, you must kill the horrible creatures. Okay. What rank amateur bottled this wine? The impurities have rendered it nigh undrinkable. Dismissal is too good for the man responsible. He should be made to drink every drop of this polluted swill. The thing is, though, like, this quest line isn't nearly as long as I remember it. What is it? I am in the middle of an important discussion, and I do not care for interruptions. <laughs> that neophyte Venter did bid you speak with me? Ha! Neither you nor your friends has the power to appreciate the subtle qualities of my private stock. I would sooner serve you gobu urine than sell you my worst vintage. Be gone from my sight. Alright, but you have an actual quest that I want to do. You call this cork? Pah! This sad, squelchy thing isn't fit to kiss my back end. Let alone my fine whites and reds. I'd say you should try again. Except that I wouldn't trust you with the worst of vintages now. You're dead to me. You, adventurer. I've had it trying to get quality from my own lot. Show this oaf how it's done and bring me the materials you find off cork bulbs. Harvesting five of them should do. Time flies and uncorked wine sours. Go! Go! Alright, let's see if I can do this Irish Russian again. Because I lose any form of Irish usually between doing different characters. Ah, I take it he said no. Really, in those words. Hmm. Well, I cannot say that I'm surprised. Well, there's no denying his passion and skill. The wine baron of Limsalo Mensa is not a man known for his tact. Very well. We shall have an alternative approach. There is a chance, however small, that another resident of Wineport can furnish us with a suitable wine. In fact, had you come several years ago, I guarantee this would not be a problem. Alas, the quality of our product has declined significantly in recent years. The only breeds cultivated these days are common lowland vines, which isn't to say that their grapes are of poor quality, only that we have known better. Long ago... <laughs> The vinegaroons of Wineport crossbred several species and produced a grape-bearing vine of never-before-seen quality. Bacchus grapes were once the pride of this town, as they were used to produce vintages which surpassed all others. This includes the most aromatic, the most complex, the most flavorful of all wines. Aye, the legendary Bacchus wines were born right here in Wineport. <clears throat> Pardon my enthusiasm, you see. I once had the privilege to sample that particular wine. It was another worldly experience. In that moment, I felt as though I had tasted the nectar of the gods themselves. I transcended my mortal flesh and was one with all creation. <sighs> but as is all too often said, the calamity changed that. The Bacchus vineyards were completely destroyed, along with much of the existing stock of Bacchus vines. What little remains is closely guarded by its owners, or it can no longer be made. If we cannot convince Birgliant to part with his wines, our next best option, as ridiculous as it sounds, is to find someone who has a bottle of Bacchus wine 
and to offer them every gill we can spare. I've heard rumors that one of the Vinegroons tending the vineyards might have once owned a bottle. Perhaps you could start by speaking with them? Perhaps I could. Perhaps I could. Are we going back in here? No, it's behind this place. Sprint! What? Do I have Bacchus wine? I wish. I never had the chance to try it myself. Sorry, friend, but you're a few years too late. Look at those beautiful little triangle grapes. Little pyramids. I don't know how those couldn't make good wine. Bacchus wine? Bah, don't remind me. I used to have a cellar filled with the stuff. Thought I could keep the wine safe from thieves and the elements. Never counted on a bloody primer blowing up my god's damned house. <clears throat> no luck, hmm? Most regrettable. But we had to try. Ah, but Bacchus wine would have been perfect for the occasion. Though I must confess, my certitude would could be due in part to my personal history with the beverage. It is, after all, the very reason I decided to become a Vinter. After Toyden blinded me in our battle beneath Ogororo, I fell into a deep depression. It wasn't until I tasted Bacchus wine for the first time that I realized there was still so much I could experience, even in my condition. It helped me to find a new direction in life. Oh, it breaks my heart to think that the wondrous ambrosia which once filled me with hope may be forever lost to us. Shimani Lamani appears deep in thought. I must say, this talk of Bacchus wine has made me rather nostalgic. Indeed, there is so much I miss about my life with the company of heroes. After everything the captain has done for me, I could not bear to disappoint him. I have no fear. I swear that I shall find a suitable wine for the banquet, though I may need some talk may need some time to think of a solution. In the meantime, there is a favor I would ask of you. Two years ago, in the deepest depths of my despair, I stumbled across Wildbrand as a vagabond drunk. I suspect I was looking for a place to die, because I very nearly found one not far from here. It was there that a man named Drest took me in and nursed me back to health, and it was he who gave me my first taste of Bacchus wine, which helped me to find my new calling. Though I am still a novice in the arts of winemaking, I would like him to know that I am pursuing my dream. The wine is my own original creation, and I, must, I would be most grateful if you delivered it to him in my stead. Dressed sometimes works at the Raincatcher Goalie Docks, so perhaps Ritz Skilt can tell you where to find him. Okay. <clears throat> Let us be on our way. I have only had... I'm going to jinx it right here. 38 dropped frames this stream. That means we are at 0.0% of frames dropped. It's never been that low. Dressed. Oh, you mean the hermit? Aye. I'll toss him a few gill when we need an extra pair of hands. He doesn't talk about himself, but I sure as hell don't ask. When a man's got a face with scars like that, <clears throat> you best leave well enough alone, I say. If you've a mind to find him, though, then head southwest to the severed string. Okay. But first, we're going to head a little bit northwest. Because I got to gather impeccable cork from cork bulbs. That is pretty good for my McDonald's ass Wi Fi. I didn't realize the cork bulbs were enemies. I straight up just walked up to that one and slapped it with my uh, axe without, like, doing an actual attack.
what? What do you want? <clears throat> Wait, sorry. I didn't want him to be a deep voice. What? What do you want? Well, wine. I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? I... Oh. Can't, can't sleep. They won't let me sleep. The midges, the buzzing, it keeps me awake. I'm not, I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I don't want to fight. Please, make the buzzing stop. Make the midges go away. Yeah, I slay five midge swarms. I guess I could be like using my damage buffing stuff. Oh hey, there's a grass raptor. <gasps> Can I kill the grass raptors that I need down here instead of up there? How many do I need to kill? Four? <gasps> Let's go. They're all right here. That was a happy accident. Grass Raptor. All right. Back on the bike. Hello, Gubu. Goodbye, Gubu. I think Gubus are one of my, like, favorite enemy types. Not necessarily to fight, but they just... They're kind of adorable and a creepy... Actually, I just realized what it is. They kind of look like non-robot versions of the bad guys from Nier Automata. Like, look at that middle dude Gubu. Take his head... Make it a sphere with two circles for the eyes, the stout little body with stubby legs, and long-ass arms. I'll be damned. Also, we might uh, be getting my wife to come home early today, folks. It's her last day of work before she goes to uh, on maternity leave. We were on reconnaissance mission when the maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others, no, no one else survived. I didn't ask for this, damn it. I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my lands just like they tried to conquer yours. I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I just, I just want to go home. Um. And I'm trying so hard to get her to just come home. There's no reason for her to come home. I just... Her co-workers made jokes about her calling in, and I was like, you should do it. I, I wish to thank Shimani for the wine. That, that was overly kind. Would you be willing to bear a gift back to him? Earlier today at Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from nearby palm trees. If, if placed in coconut shells and stored for a few bells' time, it makes for a fine wine. See, it should be ready by now. I left three shells out there. Please take them to Shimani for me. I'm... I'm glad he's moved on with his life. I hope to one day do the same. Ow, sorry. I just keep... 
hitting my microphone and all that, so I, ap I apologize. Palm wine. I have the Titanic theme song stuck in my head now. And I wish I could say why, but I don't know. Come on, climb back up there. Come on. Yes. We did it. Watch this, watch this. We do cool tricks when we're on bikes. 360! No one else can see me do it because of the way loading and stuff works in MMOs, but... Three six oh <laughs> three sixty Shimani It has been some time, Morgan. What news do you have of Drist? It hasn't been that long, it's been like ten minutes, maybe. Oh yes, I recall he did have some knowledge of winemaking. A simplistic but nevertheless effective method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I shall have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We are not so different, Drist and I, two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I worry that he has been alone with his thoughts for too long. Aye, it is past time I paid him a visit. Thank you for looking after him, Morgan. By the gods, Morgan, listen! I know you're eager to wash your head. Good lord, to wash your hands of this vi this wine business. But I've just discovered something extraordinary about Drist's palm wine. He sealed each coconut with a leaf. A leaf which has a very distinct shape and unusual odor. I thought I was going mad at first. But now I'm certain. These are the leaves of a Bacchus grapevine. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in Rain Kachigori, the legendary vine still grows. If we could obtain a cutting, we could revive the Bacchus wine industry. We must know where Drist found these wine, found these leaves. Here, take one of them back to him and see what he remembers. I will, as soon as I turn these quests in. But we need to, before we turn in the side quests, switch to Paladin. I'm not gonna read the side quest stuff. Because I've been doing so many side quests off stream anyway. We're just doing this for main story playthrough. Alright, back to Wabia. Speak with the Uldan artist. Show the box leaf to Drest. Well, luckily, the Uldan artist is right down here on the way! Hey! That was easy enough. I have kind of noticed that, like, having played through A Realm Reborn, this will be my third time. A lot of the side quests, if you pick them up as... I mean, in general with, actually, the uh, whole game, if you pick up the side quests as you go, they tend to be in the same direction that your uh, main quests are. Hello, Gubu. Goodbye, Gubu. It's just, it's really good game design is what it is. <laughs> I love how I said that right before I saw your uh, chat, Matt.
still can't be bothered to do 90% again. 90% of them. That's fair. Oh, hello again. What is it? It's it's just a leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I was just stealing your... No! The stream is on a delay. Remember? God. I wouldn't try and steal your point. Ow. I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh gooboo tracks, though. Maybe. Maybe the leaves came from vines growing on the back of one such beast. If you go looking for it, please be careful. Some gooboos are more territorial than others, and you may have to defend yourself. Last time I did this quest as Jester, I had to kill three of the things. And I don't know... I guess we'll find out now, because I couldn't remember when I ran it as Aerolith how many I had to kill. Or if I just got caught in some weird loop. But I guess we'll find out right here. Why, hello, Jolly Green. Hello, Shesmu. Shesmu. one yeah I must have just got caught in a weird loop let's do this fate because I want to kill the jolly green take that stun I'm not going to let you moldy sneeze on me. Disgusting. I let you moldy sneeze on me. Tried to stun it. Stun didn't work. It was immune. Take that, Jolly Green. It's been real. Alright, we gotta deliver the Bacchus cutting to Shamani Lamani. All of the Lollafell's names either rhyme or their last name is a like shortened version of their Do we wanna just do this one too? Yes. Or their last name is like a shortened version of their first name. Like, Tataru Taru. Although I guess Tataru is actually pronounced Tataru. At least that's how uh, Menphilia pronounced it when you met her. Oh, I didn't get out of that one. I hesitated. I was going to stun it and then I forgot my buttons for stun. My brain, like, really broke. There we go. Everything's gonna come after me. Okay, okay. Let 
There we go. I like doing the, like, I think they're called Notorious Monsters Fates. It's the ones where there's just one big enemy. My least favorite fates, honestly, are probably the collecting fates. Or like the super boss fates, as Matt called them, uh, mega fates. Cracked me up so much. How many freaking quests do you have for me? I turned that one in as a... Alright, well then, to be fair, since we turned that quest in as a warrior, we'll turn the main quest in as a paladin. What did Drist have to say, Morgan? Tell me everything. Oh ho ho, I was right. This smell, this texture, I hold in my hands a Bacchus grapevine cutting. Come now, enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and a novice venter could. Twelve is my witness. It is a Bacchus grapevine. Where ever did you find this fantastic specimen? What? You would offer this to me. But why? There is none better position to reconstruct the Borkus vineyards than you, Master Beerglant. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It would be selfish of me to keep this cutting. I never knew you cared so deeply about your craft. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. In just a few years' time, I swear that every tavern across Eorzea will once again be clamoring for a cask of Wineport's legendary Bacchus wine. Oh my god, I just made that connection. This place exports wine, and it's called Wineport. Three playthroughs, folks. Three playthroughs to finally understand that. What am I doing with my life? Sir, you needn't... <laughs> Wait. The shape of this bottle, the scent of this label, this couldn't possibly be... A 1547 Bacchus. But that's impossible. This vintage has not been seen since years before the Calamity. It was the crown jewel of my personal collection. For years, I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. But now I realize it was never meant for me. It would be savored by the saviors of Wineport, I say. He has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master Gegaruju will find no finer wine. Master, <laughs> you have forever changed Wineport Morgan. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. I'll tell you why in a second, man. I also clipped it, but... Ah, but do permit me. Do not permit me to delay you any longer. Pray deliver the wine to Captain Whiskate. Hmm? Well, yes, I would very much like to drink it. But I am a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste perfection. Uh, it took... I so literally, like, at, seconds before I said, what am I doing with my life? I discovered that, uh, I realized, actually, this place that I am in currently right now is called Wineport. A place where they make wine and export it. It took me three playthroughs to understand that reference. Or pun. Or whatever you want to call it. And it was literally not that deep. Indoor moment. Yeah. I felt... 
And then had to, you know, do the whole self-reflection thing. And that's why I was like, what am I doing? Literally three playthroughs. I was going to say, I didn't understand the indoor moment, but whatever. <laughs> now I don't feel as bad for not understanding it. Now, let's go back to Costa del Sol. We got to be getting pretty close to... uh the titan fight because i think this is the last thing you have to collect for this uh little thing that they're throwing this little shindig you stole us back so your prolonged absence was beginning to concern me so what of the wine i asked you to bring is that seven hells a 1547 bacchus even i know how rare that is I have to admit, I didn't think I ha you had it in you. But congratulations, Morgan. Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast Costa del Sol has seen in years. Considering the lengths you went to, I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your associate arrived a short while ago. She appears to be growing somewhat impatient. Perhaps you could tell her that the banquet is about to begin. <gasps> a little gooboo minion. We're not going to switch off of Fran, uh, Fran but... Nonetheless, let's use the little gooboo. You have the look of a woman who has been to the seventh hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in her own honor. And this, while the shadow of Titan looms over us all, it beggars belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. Lady Ishtola! Lady in Atari. A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, madam. Had I known, I would never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. I forgot to switch back to Warbia. Come now. She must have said something was amiss. Bam. Bah, 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 bah. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? Spare her your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment, and unlike me, Morrigan has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so would be so good as to enlighten her. Aye, aye, fair is fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. What any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be god slayers by his own criteria. If even one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proved herself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has never has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deign to test Morrigan with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I am sure. 
But tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? She's a brave one, that much is certain. She willingly walked into the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it could cost her her life. Her skill is undeniable. She stalked her prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands, and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many... What? Way wrong accent for what I had been doing. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Morgan, however, is kind and a generous soul. I am certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. <sighs> Wily Uplander is a talentful plansmaker. Trixie foe for mighty rockmen. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We, five of the company of heroes, hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, Morgan, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Of course. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, friends, for today we celebrate the birth of a new legend. Morgan in Atari, Titan's Bane. Morrigan and Atari, Titan's Bane. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Let me switch back to Warrior this time. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. So many foods. Tasting the exotic feast triggers a divine revelation. In that brief, transcendent moment, you glimpse the, glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. Sure. When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa, Lomensa, Eorzea, or anything beyond this chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever fighty thing. Gobbyflock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Ah, Morgan, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landonel sends his regards. The dancers aren't even in time with each other. You are a veteran of countless battles, Morgan. This is but one more. Trust in your experience, and you will prevail. You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the Earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. You are kind to indulge them, Morrigan. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. I think, Matt, we are getting close to running Titan, if you are wanting to run it with me. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Upper Lanosia. There you will meet Raiol, another man who once served with the company. 
To ensure that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will remain in hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me your map. You must whistle loudly at the three locations I mark. Only then will he appear to meet you at this fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks inherent in our method. Okay. To Bronze Lake. Okay, that's fair. Oh, you just... Oh, you just interact with it. Okay. I had a feeling as much. I just wanted to throw it out there just in case. Whatever. Greetings, lass. Might you be the one Captain said would come calling? Aye, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining myself twice. Lord of Crags. It's, it's time. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts scumbled across the beasts in an Aetherite Sea. Eh, what's they look for? Not familiar with them. He speaks of an amplified of an unamplified aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions. Ah, well if it ain't the chalet and lass. Welcome back. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee.
All right, sorry about that. But I have drank so much water so far this morning that it finally hit. And I was like, mm, we're not going to make it through this cutscene if I don't go pee. Okay. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. Got to clip back over here. The tunnels beneath Ogamoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the company of heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ha! Give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step and the next thing you know, you've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around. And it was that that got and it was that as got us thinking. I mean Ugamoro mines are like a bleeding city, aren't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a right pain in the ass if you didn't have an Ethernet, wouldn't it? So it stood to reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm. Even if there are Aetherite shards in the depths of Ogamoro, you would have had to you would have needed to attune yourselves to them before you could identify their signatures within the life stream. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had the Charlayan bloke to help us. See? Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't rightly know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlayan scholar worth her salt couldn't manage. Did he now? Hmm. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question happened to be... Ah, yes... But in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm... It is possible in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, lass. Don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we all go to Zelma's run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far, though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Not you can't handle, mind. Aye, Captain. Let us be on our way. We'll attune to the Aetherite. We will do what is needed. Pew, 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 pew. That kobold whacked me. Stop focus targeting, please. <laughs> so this is the Aetherite that the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan's Sanctuary. Hmm. It is Papalimo speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, Morgan. I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. Fear not. I will summon the Maelstrom for a station nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you will be on your own. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. You are, Ishtola. I believe in you. I have located another beacon. 
one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. The navel now accessible. <gasps> okay. With a party of other players. Ah, this person's name is Poltergeist. Poltergeist be going with me? I guess we'll find out. Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. She uses our aetherites against us. She has defiled Titan's sanct sacred sanctuary. Trespassed, violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave. Overdwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear her not. Her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, Overdweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall be the first to face judgment. Then Limsa Lomensa and her Oathbreakers. Liars, betrayers, Oathbreakers. O oh, great father, Lord of Crags. Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Repeat times two. He is come, he is come, the Lord of Crags, Titan is come. Overdweller, art thou deaf to their weeping? Thy vile kite coveteth the f yeah, I can't do it. Ever the blessing of the land, and murdereth my children by the score. All in service to greed, such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am the first to suffer thy defiance thou didst bring, if it lo. Godless overdweller, thy myriad heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance.
GG. The Lord of Crags? Great Father Titan has fallen! Hear, feel, think. Oh, this is our fourth one. The crimes of the overdwellers shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten. No, no, never. Was your kin who broke the covenant? We have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths we shall defy you. Deny, decry, defy. Now these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Sure, that is wise, my lord. Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not let we do not yet know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Rehithen. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. Why, if there's truth to be told to the legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea, given but a little while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. Have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this course of action. And now she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, crystal bearer. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. And not remain to mark his passing. Well, the Asians are nothing if not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should ha they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will, but that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measure to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow anon. There is something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Aetherite in Zelma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? Agreed. Hey, I got a player commendation. To Camp Bronze Lake. I need to go back to Costa del Sol for a moment. 
and kill a couple enemies real quick. I am relieved to see you well, but come, let us discuss our next step. Yishtola is keen to discuss your next task. Though word will already have reached Maelstrom Command, protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission respect, mission success. The honor is rightfully yours, Morrigan. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. Go to Costa del Sol. The enemies, <clears throat> the enemies I need are over this way. Uh, somehow I forgot to get them last week. But we won't forget them this time. No, no. Bloodshore Bells. Four of them are what I need. There we go. And the last one will be that one right there. Where is my... How long ago did I lose... Vex? It's been a while. Okay. Return. Nope, not to Old Ah. I guess we'll just teleport to... Uh... Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. You go get some good sleep. You're on your nocturnal schedule, so... I totally get it. Uh, what am I doing? Limsa, because I gotta go talk to Rash Rashat Riki. Come on. Ethernet. The Aft Castle. This way. Thank you for coming, Morgan. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First Efreet, and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly, and there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limsa Lomensa are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Morrigan, this is Minfilia. Yishtola has informed me of your success. 
You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Nishtola emerged from Ogamaro unscathed. Why, Tataru and the others seemed as glad of that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Alright. Return to the Waking Sands. That's not what I want. I want to use one of my tickets. While we are here, we might as well pick up the quest from Nedric. So we can get Sunken Temple of Karn. No! Not everyone... dead! I'm pretty sure that's the one that, uh... was with Edda and Payo Ryo and What's-His-Bucket. Naroxia or Naraksha. This one is glad. Walking one is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heaven she is safe. Louis Soir, do you see? You barely your light miss. shines brightly in this one. Getting to hear him in Philia, Matt. It will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. <laughs> Damn. Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself. On the condition you spare the innocents. Condition? There speaks that the queen's dire. I'll grant you her coach, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. 
I like how this all happened so in like seen. seconds because I teleported directly here. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. Such a good kick. No. Conditions of surrender. Deny. Cease at once. Oh. Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. Dark. I said enough. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Walking one. Minfilia asked this one to. In case walking one returned, this one was to say, to say, at church in eastern Thanalan, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried. Tried to protect Walking One Menphilia fr from Imperial Ones. Forgive this one. Save. <sighs> That's the one that gets me. Why'd they have to kill the Sylph? I'm actually going to check something super quick. I'm going to take a quick break. Okay. I will be right back. I got food here that I got to go grab.
Okay, we're back. There we go. Let's go speak with Baby Moo at the sunken temple of Karn. While that teleport goes through, I'm gonna take a bite of my burrito. Hop on the bike. Once we hit the level 35 quests, we'll queue up for the Sunken Temple of Karn. Because it's a level 35 dungeon. Okay. Sunken Temple of Karn. Now accessible. Cool. <clears throat> Teleport. Now we're going to Easton Fenelon to Camp Drybone. I'm going to take another bite of my burrito. To the church. Something troubling you, my child. You have the look of one who has endured great suffering. If there is anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. The wild roses are dead, father, and I know not what to do. The wild roses? I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the Scions. How? How could this have happened? And you are certain that Menphilia was among those taken by the Garleans? Let us pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Minfilia's. <clears throat> I have known her since she was but a child. Well do I recall the day of our first meeting. I swore then to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly offer the, sa sa the self-same service to her brothers and sister scions. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marquez, would you come here for a moment? Yes, father. If you require assistance, pray speak with Marquez. He is a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain. Marquez is a survivor of the Battle of Cartano. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken him into our care, he surely would have perished in the desert. Marquez, <clears throat> I want you to look after Morrigan. Do you understand? Yes, father.
those who wait. Excuse me, Morgan. Do you have a moment? It concerns this broken horologe which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. There is something familiar about it, but just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle nose pincers. They are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill. Here, take this coin purse, that should cover it. What level is that quest? Level 35. Okay, let me take another bite of my food. The burrito's kind of falling apart. Uh, but now we will um, first pop some food. And now queue up for <clears throat> the sunken temple of Karn. Cover that, move my food out of the way. Point chisel, you say, and a pair of needle nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. That's balls, balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> Wait. Up the wooden slope. Have you brought the tools I requested? Hmm, something occurs to me. Please wait here for a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, this sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Morgan, this was a mistake. Please give the horologe to Sister Elinid. The, one, the man who once owned it is currently in her care, and I think it best that it be returned to him. <clears throat> Good evening to you, madam. Oh, here we go.
Alright, so now that I know we're skipping the puzzles, that does make my life a lot easier. Stun for that one. There we go. Yeah, man. This is a fun pool. Soulstone first, then Guardian. Probably should have popped a mitigation for that. That's on me. Y'all, I got you. I'm attacking the wrong thing. What are you doing? Stay here. Don't go after my party. They're my party. Hey, we're level 45 now. I need that. Okay, sorry. Mostly I want the condemned killed. I'm also, on my screen, my frames are dropping.
It looks like this the frames aren't dropping like actually on stream. Which is good. Oh, it was on there. And let's go! Sorry, buddy, I moved him on ya. GG. Good job, team. Good job. Good job. Personal best of 144.44. So good. That's so awesome. I'm so, so happy for you. Is that because everybody left? Yep. Cool, cool. Good job. So good, good job. I know like to anybody who doesn't speed run, 25 seconds doesn't sound like that much, but that's huge. So good job. I'm about to take a uh, bite of food. I feel like that's a very respectable time. I need to equip the uh, new stuff that I just got from that dungeon. Okay, those gloves are better than what I currently have. Uh, strength 5, Vitality 6, Crit 6, Skill Speed 8. Okay, yeah, nope, we're... Uh, 
These gloves are better than the ones I just equipped. That's better. And those are better. Good morrow to you, madam. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Kinda. Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common in Garlemald. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with all manners of amazing technologies. Marquez said it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear. You don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap more importantly, how did Marquez manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. What is my current weapon at? What item level is it? Yeah, anti Calebet. That actually didn't... I went to the wrong menu to find out that information. Level 32... Level 35... What's my paladins look like? Level 32. Honestly, this weapon is going to probably be good for any of the stuff that I'm doing. So we'll open it and then just end up selling it. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. It is me, Sogo. It is Auntie Calebet. Just please don't start posting good ones. <laughs> I'm definitely not making a note to do that right now. I'm totally writing down something else. Yep. I recognize you now, Morgan. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you to find closure. Well, I'm not quite ready to touch the dead bodies of my friends. So, first, we're going to go do my level 45 warrior quest. By teleporting to Costa del Sol and taking a bite of food. Got one of those giant ass burritos from a uh, like um, I'm completely drawing a brain like a taco truck, but it wasn't a taco truck, and super super good. It, it's tortilla ripped though, so it's messy as hell to eat right now. At this point, I should just go get a fork and turn it into like a burrito salad. But I'm not going to. I'm going to keep eating it as it is and complain the whole time. Curious George. Welcome back, my friend. I was wondering when your travels would bring you back this way. It just so happens that I have some exciting news. They really are. They come in their own little carrying case. I have finally uncovered the clues pertaining to the whereabouts of the lost armor of my ancestors. As it turns out, after the fallen hero cast the five pieces from the mountaintop, five of his pupils set out to recover them, intending to restore their master's name. What is more, they were actually successful in this search. However, when it came to reuniting the set, the armor's great power began to work upon their minds and not one could bring himself to relinquish his peace. Realizing then, 
Ever had burritos de chicharron in salsa verde? I have not, but that sounds really good. Realizing then that their master's, master's fatal pride was born of the artifact's combined influence, the pupils resolved to keep the pieces separate and to share between five the power that might otherwise have consumed one. Thus did each of them carve his own place in history. The chronicles go on to say that years later, prior to death, each of the pupils returned to the scene of his own greatest victory and buried the artifact in his possession in a final attempt to prevent any one warrior from holding the set. I will make note of those, as well as the good morning tweet. Burritos. De chicharron. In salsa verde. Okay. You may be interested to know that the armor I wear is itself a replica of the set crafted by the ancestors. Identical in all respects, save for its lack of the arcane enchantments that adorned the original. I know what you might be thinking. If we were to bring the five pieces together once more, what would prevent us from being corrupted? Sounds good, Sogo. In the same fashion. Well, I've thought of that. What we need only do is trace the runes we find on the armor onto every piece of warrior gear. That way... There would be no need to worry about a single proud fool becoming drunk on his all-surpassing power, as every warrior in the realm would be possessed of the safe cell might. It's quite brilliant, if I do say so myself. So how about we split up and begin the search straight away? Three of the locations seem quite self-evident. I would entrust the search there to you while I track down the other two with tome in hand. One piece is said to be buried under the great rocks of Boulder Downs in Coerthus, while another stumbles peacefully at Camp Tranquil in the South Shroud. The last of the three rests untouched at Parata's Peace in Western Phanolin. Unearth those three relics and bring them to me. With any measure of fortune, I'll have tracked down the remaining two by the time of your return. Okay. That all sounds fine and dandy. But I don't think I kept the stuff equipped. Okay. I guess we'll start at Boulder Downs. So let's go to Coerthus. Camp Dragonhead. Wrong way to jump. To the waterfall in the distance. All right. 
Bring it on, mud puppies. This is getting a little closer than I would like. There we go. We're going to wait for our health to come back, because as soon as we step in there, I can already see that there's a thing that's going to pop an enemy. Where's the hostile enemy? Ah! Get down here! Come now. <coughs> now, which piece is this? Is it going to be better than what I currently have equipped? The odds are yes. Piece of fighter's armor. Fighter's breeches. Those are way better than what I have. Put those on. Now. To Camp Tranquil. Let us be on our way. Emerald Salamander? What? Yeah, there's nothing that looks emeraldy about you. You don't have any green on you. You have spots of yellow. Okay, and this is the hand pieces. Those are better than what I currently got as well, so let's go. Now, Parata's Peace. Western Fanolin. God, that's such a teleport. Okay, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to use a Vesper Bay ticket. Because that's going to be actually the closest teleport. We're going to gather the dead bodies of our friends. And then we'll do the uh, warrior thing. Vesper Bay Shopkeep. There's the bodies of my dead friends. Such shame, such sadness. Ugh, you don't look like one of them church fellas. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lich yard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. It was the stuff of nightmares. I tell you, God's damned Imperials. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folk. And I sure as hell don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't, ain't I seen you around here before? Or you just happen to have one of them faces? Nah, never mind. Any road, there's a carriage come to haul the bodies to the lich yard out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up, but seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, I've a mind to leave the remainder to you. But I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of these folk are starting to turn. <laughs> Damn, 
Damn, that one took forever to pick up. That's the one that hurts the most. The Sylph. Carry the corpses to the carriage. What happened to the big fella? Ah, forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them on the back. Ain't like they'll complain if you're too rough. Well, ain't you a strong one? Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need me for me to lend you a hand with the rest then. Only if you want to, sir. Only if you want to. Oh, that sneeze hurt. Oh. Come on, come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. That should be all of them, thanks for the help. Reckon it won't take too long to deliver all the corpses to the lich yard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here is done. Oh, don't you worry, I will. But first... I got something up north to do. Giggling Gigantode. Ooh, a, a heck it. Awesome, Sogo. Glad you're back. Welcome back. Ooh. Let's pick up the shoes. back to Costa del Sol and then we'll go speak with the person to turn in our dead friends godbirds what stepbrother I love seeing the creative things that sometimes people that some people do with their characters. Whether it's like that guy who named himself Godbert's stepbrother but looks exactly like Godbert Manderville from the game, or people who like go hardcore into the roleplay and will like create alternate accounts of the Scions and stuff, it's amazing. How fares your search, Morgan? Have you found aught of my tribe's ancient relics? Should you have the three pieces of armor, don them and show them to me. Ah, Morgan, that you found the gear is most gratifying. 
but what I would truly fancy would be to see you in it. Wait, stand still for a moment? The armor so becomes you that I could not tell you had it at first glance, but now I can have no doubt. I sense the power of the runes inscribed on each piece resonating with your soul crystal. This is the long-lost armor of the warrior. I too have found one of the relics, but I have run into an unexpected rub when I donned the piece. I felt nothing, as if the lost treasure were no different from the unadorned replicas already in my possession. Whether the power has been lost to it, or most of must needs be awakened by means yet unknown to me, this I cannot say. The ancient texts still hold many mysteries beyond my ability to decipher. But before I forget, I should mention to you that I did indeed track down another piece before I was waylaid by this current conundrum. You should find it sealed away at Red Mantis Falls. Port. <clears throat> Over the mountains and through the woods. This will be the headgear that I don't think I can wear even if I wanted to. Because a lot of headgear can't be worn by Vieras. Because of their ears. It's just not visible on your character. There it is. There she be. Old wooden chest. Hello, Red Mantis. Fighter's Virginette. Because it was better than the cavalry mask, right? Yes. We'll go this way, we'll ride the ferry, and then we'll hop on our bike and go on a little jump. Costs us 40 gil, but it's going to be quicker than teleporting to Costa del Sol. Right over this cliff right here is Curious George. Ah, I see your search was a fruitful one. I am pleased to say I have also gleaned some insight into the why the armor I found seemed devoid of power. As I alluded to, the ancient armor warrior's armor derives its power from a concordance between the incantations engraved on the steel itself and the inner beast of the wearer. But my own resonance with the plating was too weak as to allow a proper connection with it. And now I think I know why. My soul crystal. It once burned bright like yours, but since the events at Wineport it has been reduced to a lifeless husk. Why this happened, I cannot say. But the tome is quite clear about what would happen were the powers of the armor to be bestowed upon one whose soul is weak. The inner beast would devour the mind of the wearer, who would go into a mindless rampage that would only end with the mercy of death. Yes, not unlike the crazed fiends we battle. I believe that the armor sensed my weakened state foresaw the potential danger and then knowingly shut off its powers to me. And I dare say we are fortunate that it did. 
I feel as though an apology is in order at this juncture. I must tell you I left this final piece of the armor where I found it. The breastplate, as the piece closest to a warrior's heart, has powers far greater and more dangerous than the other pieces. Uncertain as I was to the reason for my being unable to connect with the plate's mythical energy, I feared to take it would mean imperiling both myself and those around me. Your soul may burn stronger than mine, yet still I worry for your fate were you to put it on. Look deep within yourself, Morrigan. When you feel yourself ready, and only then, come to speak to me again. You would truly seek the ultimate relic of my people. The armor that would consume the very soul of the most puissant warrior. Very well. If you are truly convinced of your readiness, I will not be the one to stand in your way. But I beg of you, Morrigan. The moment you feel yourself losing control and your inner beast overcoming you, cast the armor aside. Cast it from the highest mountain or into the depths of the ocean, I care not. For once the beast consumes your soul, there is no going back. You will rage on, a monster, leaving naught but carnage in your wake. The realm will bleed and the history will repeat itself. I cannot allow this to happen. No, my people have been shunned long enough. I would see the coming of a new age in which warriors protect the weak and are loved and admired by the people of the realm. My years of battle and sleepless nights spent poring over the ancient texts, all has been for this day. Brother, I know not where fate has led you, and yet I feel certain that, in spirit, you stand with me today. Together, we will restore the honor of our people. You must forgive my sentiment, Morgan. As I said, this has been a long time coming. The breastplate you seek is in the highlands of Coerthus. At the spring they call the Weeping Saint. I will stay behind. The events at Wineport still weigh heavy on my heart. Let's go get this final piece of armor. Wrong way. Kill red horn ogres. Might as well. <laughs> it will be a nice chunk of XP, so let's do it. Only got to kill two of them. Okay. Which means it's probably part of one where like I have to kill four different enemies, four different like mon monster types, and kill like two of each of them. doing on levels. Ooh, I gotta kill Downy Avis too. Avis? I know it's Downy Avis, but I wonder what the plural of it is. Avises or Avis? Gotta kill four of them. Come here, you. You're the last one that I need. There we go. Hop on the bike. Now that should cut down how many Snow Wolf Pup, Ornery Caracal. Highland Gubus, Snowstorm Gubus, and then out of Lanosia. But 
bum ba da ba dum ba da ba do Don't fight me. Bolt horn, huh? Bring it, Bolt horn. You cannot beat me. I am too powerful. I will help this person. Because why not? I'm already here. Hand over the breastplate, Morgan. After much wrestling with the thought, I simply cannot entrust such a relic to an outsider who may be overwhelmed by its power. I return now to Hidden Falls. You would have words with me. Then come. I will not run away. And what was the point of sending us on it? Expecting to see this other person, this Anya, that was also there to fly overhead. Yep, there she goes. Do 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 do. do. Okay. Hey, look, it's Anya. Anya? Yeah. Morgan, I am sorry. I did not mean for things to happen like this, but I had no choice. I have wrestled long and hard with the matter, but this is my decision. I cannot trust you with this power when I do not even trust myself. Aye, that's right. I won't attempt to don the plate again either, nor will anyone. Not until I have proof that there is one with a will strong enough to withstand the beast's siren call. Peer deep within your soul, Morgan. Peer into the eyes of the beast that stares back at you. Can you truly say that you can engage the monster in battle and emerge victorious? I shall return to the tome. If there are any answers to be found, they lie within those pages. In the meantime, continue your training that you might find an answer of your own. You hear the whispers of the village ancestors. Steel Cyclone. Which is my AoE. Yep. We don't need that. Now, let us return to Eastern Thanalan. Camp Drybone. Wooden slope. That'll pop us out close to the closest to it. Do, 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 do. I see that you have decided to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so, you found some small measure of peace. The first carriage from Vesper Bay arrived not long ago. And we've begun preparing your comrades for burial. I had a hand in the initial rites, and I... I would like to, you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect, and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. A 
Although we can perform the rites for most of the scions, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to her people, the sylphs of little solace. It is only proper that she be given into the care of her friends and family, so that they may mourn her in accordance with sylphic traditions. Alright. To East Shroud. Do 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 ba da 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 This one is surprised to see Walking One and Little Solace. How can these ones assist Walking One? Oh, come on, phone. Quit being dumb. There we go. <gasps> Naraksha! But this one does not understand. Gurmuxio, this one has heard much wailing. This one would not know what has caused such distress. <laughs> Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking one has returned to Little Solace, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. Oh, this is the old one that was talking. Naraksha, how did this happen? Explain everything to me. Or explain everything to this one at once. So, not only Naraksha, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. Naraksha! Naraksha went to Thanalin at the behest of this one. Walking One was with Naraksha at the end. Tell this one that Naraksha was brave. Tell this one that Naraksha did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Naraksha home, Walking One. These ones who also wish to thank Praying Ones. Tell praying ones that these ones will remember this kindness. This one demands vengeance. Imperial ones must pay. Imperial ones must suffer. When the time comes for walking one to face imperial ones, do not forget these ones. These ones would not have Naraksha's death be for naught. These ones will fight. Good to know. Back to Eastern Fanolin. There's so much going back and forth. So much. Alright. Where's the wooden slope? There is the wooden slope. I also don't want to look like I'm wearing half sets of armor here, so let's get the uh, cloud or the squall cosplay going again. We thank you for your service to the church and to the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that in your absence, 
we interned the remaining scions in the lichyard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends. If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please take a rest. Set aside your burdens for now, Morrigan. I just want to see something over here real quick. Okay. That uh, grave comes into play later. I'm not imagining it, Morgan. I know I'm being watched. This is different. Sinister. It is as if I'm under observation. The feeling comes and goes, but I feel it when last I ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a moment. Yeah, bud. I'll look out here for you. Meow. You are being watched by an Imperial Frumentarius. Who knew that Marquis was right? You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me. But why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I, I need to think. Please allow me a moment alone. Wait, Father Iliad must hear of this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. Heavens forfend that such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possessions? Whoops. This, this is Garlean steel, which means the man who was watching Marquez was... Make haste to Camp Drybone at once! We must summon the immortal flames before more Imperials come. Hmm. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Do you now, Sam? And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cardinal. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you.
Sid, was it? Here. These belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. But it is time for you to help those who truly need you. Who are you? Elfino Levier. Levier. At your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Let's do this. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. Bum, bum, bum. I... I have an airship? You do, Sid. You do. Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, <laughs> my airship? Wait. Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. Aye, aye, Alphano. Mm. They need my airship. They need me. A curious twist of fate that Master Sid Garland would at last be found within our church. It defies imagination. Beg your pardon, Morgan. You wish to find his airship, yes? I know not much of how truth that much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the Final Flight of the Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity, much like the great Gubu Wall of Uda. It states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gridania toward Coerthus. If true, the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over Falgord Float, the closest settlement to Coerthus. Mayhap the serpents stationed there have records of the events that transpired that day. 
I had hoped you might rest from your journeys for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you and the Scions. Pray look after Sid and yourself, Morgan. Okay. I'm going to take a short break to go use the bathroom. But first, I'm going to teleport to Falgord Float. And then we'll be right back.
Well, Bridget, you won't be waiting long because I'm back. Okay. I almost drove right past it. Is there aught I can assist you with, miss? The Enterprise. You speak of Master Garland's ship, yes? Aye, I needn't refer to the records. I know that the airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Quarthus. What became of it after that, I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak with Vortafont at Florentel's Spire. He was on duty that day and saw it with his own eyes. I'm sure, unsure what it is you hope to accomplish, though. Even should you locate the ship, would you not need a man of Master Garland's caliber to fly it? I hear tell that the machinery is fiendishly complex. I hear tell that you are right. How goes it, Bridget? I'm glad to have you while you are on lunch. In case you don't see up in that corner, Bridget, we hit our 15 goal. So, at some point, and I've already told people it might be a little while, um, we I have to do a smite stream. You have come in search of Vortfort. Well, met then, for you have found him. Indeed, I have served as a whaler for many years, since before the great snows came to Coerthus. What exactly is this about? Ah, the final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. Was on the eve of the Battle of Cartano, nigh on five years ago. I held that spire alone that night, while the bulk of our forces marched to meet the enemy in the field. Then, all of a sudden, the most fantastic airship I'd ever seen split the sky overhead. I could only watch in shock as it, she as it disappeared over the mountains to the northwest. If the Enterprise wasn't destroyed during the Calamity, I'd wager it's still somewhere in Coerthus. The astrologians at the observatorium may have records which could help, but to obtain them, you would need to deal with the Iscardians who control the region. I wouldn't expect much, though. The High Houses have long been concerned with their own affairs above all else. All else. When Dalamun descended, they took shelter behind their gates. And even now, they have little regard for the plights of the other nations. Nevertheless, they may deign to assist you should you prove yourself useful. Consider providing your services to the soldiers who guard the observatorium. Though they may refuse you at first, I have little doubt they would accept aid freely offered. To the observatorium. Highland Gubu. I am sorry to do this, but it must needs be done. Same with you, Snow Wolf Pups. It pains me. However... One more snow wolf pup, and it's right there. I'm gonna eat that attack. It missed anyway. Or, better way of putting it is I dodged it apparently. Hello, Gubu.
Ludovoy. Excuse me, can you repeat that? You wish to offer your services to House de Rindea, and what, pray tell, do you wish to receive in exchange? Ha! <laughs> How absurd. As if we would permit an outsider to peruse the records of the Observatorium. Do not mistake our courtesy for friendliness. The Holy See of Ishgard may allow foreigners to travel freely within these lands, but we do not intend to offer succor to strangers. Alone have mercy. Are you still here? You may take shelter within our walls if you insist, but do not distract me while I am on duty. We're stretched thin as it is. And where in the hells is that knight I sent out on patrol? He should have returned ages ago. Hmm. Perhaps I have a use for you after all. If you still wish to aid us, search the wilds to the west for my missing man. You will know him by his uniform, that of House Durindere, as is mine. Okay. We'll hit that goo, -goo on the way back. Horshafont is coming up, Bridget. I am going to try and get to Horshafont before you have to go back to lunch. <laughs> I know it's actually not that many quests away. It's just a matter of how much reading and talking there is. If it wasn't for you, miss, I reckon they would have finished me off. Despicable dragon-loving bastards. <laughs> Death was a mercy they didn't deserve. I prayed the rumors were mistaken, but this confirms the worst. I must immediately inform my superiors that the heretics are operating within this region. Fare thee well, friend. Highland Gubu, come here. I must say, I didn't actually expect you to find my knight, much less rescue him. I see I may have been premature in my judgment, miss. We are a proud people, beholden to tradition, but that does not mean we are without humility. I shall instruct the astrologians to entertain your request. However, understand that it is ultimately their decision whether or not you may pursue their records. Peruse their records. Pray proceed to the observatorium and introduce, introduce yourself to Edmel. Okay. Edmel! Oh, Edmel! I was told to come and introduce myself. Ah, the lady come in search of the airship. This is highly unorthodox. Whatever could Sir Ludovoy be thinking? It is true that we maintain meticulous records which stretch back generations. However, because this information is used to chart Dravanian activity, access is strictly prohibited or is strictly controlled. One can never be too careful with heretics and their sympathizers lurking about. If you would assist or if you would persist with your inquiries, pray seek an audience with Chief Astrologian Forlamort up above. I'm very happy I reached my goal too. Um and Bridget, I was thinking we would probably, maybe not necessarily my first stream back, but I was thinking we would kind of schedule it like my 12-hour stream and do it on a Saturday. Because it was a goal stream. No, absolutely not. Have you any inkling what it is you ask? We are, were our records to fall into the wrong hands, it could change the course of a war which has raged for generations. 
I speak not of some mere spat between Southron nations. Ours is a holy crusade, and we are the arbiters of Halone's will. I will not put our great nation at risk, certainly not to help a foreigner locate a missing airship of all things. Pardon the intrusion, Folomort. I wish to speak with you regarding the recent... Oh, I did not realize you had a guest. Inquisitor Gwalain, you, you honor us with your presence, sir. The lady was just leaving. Ah, you must be the one who rescued House Durandares and Knight from those heretics. Doubtless they feel indebted to you. I am told you seek an airship last seen in Coethus five years ago, yes? You come to us at an inconvenient time, I fear. Much has changed in the intervening years, and little for the better. While I wish you the best of luck in your search, I would also strongly advise caution. The snows can come quickly in Coethus. One moment you may feel as though you have a firm grasp on your surroundings, safe and secure in your knowledge. And then the next you may find yourself in a wholly unfamiliar situation, blind to the dangers hidden by the blizzard. It would be wise for you to focus on a single landmark whilst traveling. Do not give in to temptation and deviate from your course. I was not aware you aided House Durand Dare in that fashion. Thank you, madam. Nevertheless, my decision stands. I cannot give you what you seek. Sure. Sure. You there, madam. I could not help but overhear your conversation with the chief astrologian. I can assist you, but it would require that you perform for me a favor in exchange. An associate of mine has yet to return from his expedition to the cliffs east of the observatorium. He was adamant that he could conduct his observations alone, despite the presence of Ixal in that vicinity. If you would seek out this astrologian and confirm that he is well, it would be a great comfort to me. You got it, Captain. You tell me where to go. You tell me who to save. I'll do it. I'm here looking for my sister. But I've kind of accepted that I have to do these odd jobs in the meantime. Ooh, ornery coracle. You must die. I'm sorry. Gotta get four of them. You say that, Bridget, like it's been years since you were here. But I get the feeling, like, there was some heavy nostalgia when I was running through this section with Jester. Ixali Wind Talon. Ixali Fear Kala. Established Astrologian. <laughs> what a relief to see someone other than a god's damned birdman. I thought I could finish my work whilst the Ixal were away but they returned far quicker than I anticipated. It was all I could do to hide and hope they might leave again before I froze to... Wait, who are you? You're not one of our knights. A man of House Durandare cannot be seen in the company of an unbeliever. Good day, madam. There's the honorary caracal. Come here, you! Alright, I 
think that leaves me with just snowstorm gooboos and grenades. All the story leading up to Heaven's Ward is a blur. I guess that's fair. Did we blow you through that part of the story? Because I don't really feel like we did. I feel like we blew you through Heaven's Ward. Somewhat ish? Okay. I mean, you would know better than me because you were the one playing. The arrogant fool would turn not long before you arrived, muttering about the disgrace of having been rescued by an unbeliever. Serves him right for underestimating the dangers our knights face every day. Ah, uh, but you are eager to locate your airship. It may surprise you that by saving him, you have already aided your own cause. House Durandare is quick to regard outsiders with suspicion, as it is their duty to sound the alarm at the first sign of Giovannian aggression. Yet you have already aided them twice, for which they are honor-bound to repay you. Even so, they will not grant you access to the observatorium's records. That is just as well, for there are other ways you might locate your missing airship. What I propose is that you petition Lord Portalane for an official introduction to the other houses. The word of House Durandare carries tremendous weight in Ishgard. Should the captain consent, you might have little trouble, or you would have little trouble obtaining information from the other high houses. Interesting. I'll take your word for it. Ow, my ankles. You've caused quite a stir in your short time here. First you slay two heretics and save a knight, and now you can hear you have rescued a man of our house. I imagine you must desire something for your troubles. An introduction to the other houses. I cannot deny that you have given us no cause to distrust you, but while you have performed two acts, you would have me endorse you to three high houses. It is only fitting that you aid us one final time. Wouldn't you agree? I don't think you're going to give me a choice, so sure. Now, now, I understand you are very eager to find your missing airship. Worry not, for this task should take a woman of your skill, but a moment to complete. Not long ago, a porter bound for Skyfire Locks was ambushed on the road due west of here. Though he escaped with his life, he would very much like his wares as well. On the off chance any portion of his shipment remains, I would have you travel to the scene of the robbery and bring back what you find. Lest you intend to perform only a cursory search, Bear in mind that recovering the stolen merchandise will endear you to House Halianarte, further improving your chances that they will indulge your request for aid. Alright. I guess I can be blackmailed into doing stuff. No, it's not blackmail. It's called I scratch your back, you scratch my back. Recover the stolen wares. Bridget, which um which grand company did you join? Was it the Immortal Flames or the Maelstrom? Cause I genuinely don't remember. Maelstrom, okay. 
Oh, you know what? I could have checked this way. Friends list. And that little symbol right there. Yep. You are, but that's okay. It got the point across. That Vieira has like no clothes on. Have you good tidings to share? Or better yet, stolen merchandise to show? I do. <laughs> God bless ye, friend. It's all here. Every last... Uh, ah, but wait. That chest over there looks like it might have been pillaged. Bloody hells. That's the personal property of Lord Francil, too. Are you certain? Clearly an attempt was made to open it, but the lock appears to have held. Nevertheless, if you wish to verify the contents against your... Um... Shipping manifest, be my guest. Fury, take me. A draconian rosary. In the possession of Lord Francil. Yet perhaps this is not so difficult to fathom. House Halianarte is whispered to be infested with heretics. Hey, cool, cool. Uh, Bridget, that thing that I renewed for like a week ago was approved. Thank you for bringing this matter to my attention, miss. I shall inform the Inquisitors immediately. Under these circumstances, I must strongly advise against associating with House Halian Halianarte. Your other introductions will need to be postponed as well. It is the duty of every Ishgardian to root out and destroy heretics. Heretics, all else must wait until this matter is resolved. Close at last and listen well. This is for your ears only. Lord Francil is no heretic. He is a goodly, righteous man, wholly dedicated to the cause. Also, Sogo, I couldn't have caught that person because they were flying and I can't fly yet. I know this because I served House Halianarte for years prior to the calamity. You must go to Skyfire Locks and warn him of the coming storm. The Inquisitors are ruthless and will spare him no mercy. Speak to him of an Edelweiss, and he will know you are a friend. Now go! That's okay, Bridget. I'll just tell you later when you get home. Yes, you look as though you have something to say, do you? It's not rude, Sogo. I'll just text her. 
I see. Sir Carolot has not forgotten my mother's favorite flower. A pity has not been seen in Coerthus since the, the calamity. You may speak freely here, friend. That's that's absurd. I would sooner die. <laughs> I'm rude. Tell her now on stream. So go. So go. It's okay. Alas, it matters little what I say at this point. Although the draconian rosary was not found in my possession, it will still be considered by many to be proof of my heresy. I must do my utmost to prove my innocence to the Inquisitors, for if they harbor even the slightest doubt, this will only add weight to the incessant accusations our house has suffered of late. It is as though the gods themselves are plotting our fall. You risk much by coming here. It is only proper that I recompense you for the deed. Tell me what you desire, and I shall do my best to provide. A missing airship, I see. It may require a prolonged effort to locate your quarry. I shall direct you to one in better position to assist you. Bridget, here we go. Lord Horshafont. Lord Horshafont of House Fortimps commands the garrison at Camp Dragonhead. Present to him this letter of introduction, and he will surely be receptive to your needs. Morrigan is about to meet her sister's love interest, and she doesn't even know it. Goodbye, Gabriel. That's why, Sogo, I'm not going to tell her again, because she's only half listening anyway. With my luck, I would tell her, and then she'd go, wait, I didn't catch that again one more time? And at that point, you know how it be. Here it is, though, Bridget. The man, the myth, the legend, the elf. Lord Horshafont. Ah, the unmistakable swagger of a well-traveled adventurer. If you are come to pay your respects, be at ease, friend. Well, if I'm watching a rude streamer, I would be half paying attention to. I am not one to stand on formality. Truth be told, I would gladly welcome many and more brave souls like yourself. But enough chatter. Pray tell me why you have come. Why didn't my thing update? If there is any injustice in this world, these charges will receive no serious consideration. It is beyond inconceivable. Ah, yes. The letter made mention of a pressing matter for which you required assistance. What might that be? So, this enterprise you speak of was last seen above Coerthus before the Calamity five years ago. I fear it may prove difficult to find any eyewitnesses to these events, for while Ishgard did not participate in the Battle of Cartano, we were embroiled in our own eternal conflicts at the time. Nevertheless, I will make inquiries on your behalf, and share with you my findings in the future. In the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of Camp Dragonhead. I will see that you are afforded every courtesy as a guest of House Fortemps. As you have doubtless realized by now, the high houses of Ishgard, House Fortemps included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there are not influential individuals within each house who are sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives to their various representatives in Ishgard, though I suspect it would be much quicker and more efficient if you were to make inquiries of your own. Lady Nine of mine own House Fortemps, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. Why are there no more diverse elves like in the Lord of the Rings series? Because this game came out like a decade ago almost. 
Uh, Lady Nine of mine own house Fortems, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. There is also Cravelaine of House Halianate, who can be found at Skyfire Locks. Though any information you pry from the scribe may prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Durandare yet? Really? Hmm. Perhaps he will be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House Fortems. There absolutely is in later expansions, for sure. Do not concern yourself with House Zamael. I shall contact them myself. Seek the counsel of the three I mentioned and return to me when finished. Okay. We'll start with the one here in Dragonhead. Let's go speak to Lady Nine. Why, hello, good madam. What's that? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely no one of House Fortemps does. For if they did, I would definitely know as well. The topic on everyone's lips these days is what will become of young, la of young Lord Francel. Some say the allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Halianate have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. The chicken's not going to get me. Because the chicken is on my side. And I can go like this. And I can ride the chicken. I'm just glad, Bridget, I made it to Horshafon so you got to see him before you had to go back to work. Cologne, grant me strength. There must be some way to... Oh? Who are you? A friend of Lord Horshafon. I want to help you. I truly do. But these accusations of heresy have thrown House Halianarte into chaos. Right now, we must focus on combating these charges and preserving our reputation. Yeah, but Bridget, there is always the VOD. To the top of the tower. <gasps> Don't fall. I would hate to have to climb back. Stop it. I gather you have been busy since we last spoke. Lord Horshafon's missive was positively glowing, but if you think that his endorsement is, a, is cause for me to disregard Ishgardian policies, then you are sorely mistaken. We are at war, madam, and the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, in the short time since Inquisitor Guailan arrived in Coerthus, countless heretics have been discovered even amongst the elite of Ishgardian society. You don't find that weird? That once the Inquisitor shows up, people start dying? Hmm. If Lord Horshafont wishes to waste his days chasing after a long-lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. We must report back to Horshafont.
took you way too long to figure out who Ishgard was at war with. I mean, in some ways, they're kind of at war with themselves. Because they're just in war with the people who they claim are heretics because they've drank dragon blood. No, that's not true at all. They're at war with dragons. I'm, I'm dumb. Ignore everything I just said. That's the whole point of the Dragon Song War. God. Bridget, you want to talk about thinking, taking too long to figure things out, though? It wasn't until this playthrough, my third playthrough, I'm sitting there in the town of Wineport, and it dawns on me. Wineport. This town makes wine and exports it. That is why it is called Wineport. By your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use. <gasps> oh, Sogo. So here's the thing, Sogo. We're totally going to do it. I forgot to change it from easy, though. We're going to do it on normal. Nor did I, I fear. It seems the whole of Coerthus is consumed by his talk of heretics in the high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgard proper provide more pertinent information. You demand sub two hours in submitting the run? Oh, buddy. I Nowhere, nowhere in the redeeming thing does it say speed run. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francel, of whom which much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen heading towards the Steel Vigil. Hold on, I'm writing down a note real quick. Because we'll do this on, uh, we'll do the Markor run, so go on Monday. The outpost was long overrun by the Dravanian Horde, so I am not certain what he intends to accomplish with such small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Fan Francil's party requires assistance. Sounds good, Sogo. I will wait to say what I was going to say about the Markor run um, once you get back. goes there morrigan no stay back the fiend is still here Nah, oh, it's fine buddy i got this this thing's nothing oh i need to go do another dungeon real quick Damn right, that downy Abus don't want me. I heard the beast's cries from over yonder. Then Lord Francis is safe. Bless you, miss. Bless you. Curse those fiends. It's as though they knew we were coming. Oh, there's the last one over there. Found it all. How are we to redeem House Halianarte if we cannot even slay a single Avis? Oh, we are fortunate you came along when you did. Miss, House Halianarte will remember your kindness. Alright, Bridget. Have a good rest of the day. I will see you in four hours or less. Because I'm still I'm still hoping you come home early. It was a foolish thing to do, I know. 
but I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the Scalekin. Moreover, it was House Halianarte that yielded the Still Vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by those despicable accusations of heresy, and despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my protestations fall on deaf ears, I shall proclaim my innocence to my dying breath. Report to Horshafont. Actually, this is since I'm going to have to teleport to Dragonhead anyway. Let's first go to Uldah. Let's return to Uldah. Because it's free. We'll pick up the level 38 dungeon. We'll queue for it, and we'll come back to Dragonhead. Whew. doing Sapphire Avenue exchange Let me try something super quick. I'm a little confused as to why my total subs thing only says 14, but my dashboard says 15 subs. That's what I was trying to fix, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's teleport back to Dragonhead, and then we'll queue up for Cutter's Cry. Ooh! Inventory. Nope, that's not what I want to do. What am I... What am I doing? Um, duty finder. Cutter's cry. Actually, no, I, I did want inventory open because I was going to have food. Eat that acorn cookie. What did you find at the Steel Vigil? Ah, I see. A reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him and his knights their lives. I have news for you as well. A witness to the final flight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Francil at Skyfire Locks not long ago. 
Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably reticent to make your acquaintance, for fear of being seen in the company of a woman who might be later declared a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the seal with which Inquisitor Guayame has conducted his research, his investigations. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Francis's name, and by association, yours. Okay, level 36 weapon coffer. Will it be better than what I currently have? Nope. Uh, we're actually going to hop out of the queue real quick. Because I'm going to go use the bathroom before we run anything. So I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Let's hop back into that queue. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francel's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself recovered. If you would, please tell me of the incident in question. So it was found in a locked chest labeled as the property of Lord Francel. The rosary was not his. Then someone else with access must have planted it. Here's what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rykoman. He works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Kirthus, so he may have some inkling of who could be responsible. To the Skyfire Locks. Come on. Load. This is concerning. Come on. There we go. We're going to skip that one just because of... This one, right? The sand in this chamber begins to star. There's none I'm missing, right? Nope. Perfect.
Okay, well, can't stun that. So we're gonna stand in it, apparently. Oh no, how dare you silence me, princess? I can't use magic. Accept this one. Hey. Waiting for the healer. There we go. Oh, boss number two.
Come on, warrior. I don't think that one was my fault. See if we get it this time. Healer, you need to assume it yourself. There you go. Wait. Damn, healer. Now the question comes, how do I want to pull this final section? Because we don't want to do it all in one go. I don't want to pull too big.
Okay. So what does make me happy is we never died in a trash pool. It was only during the boss fights. Violet, if the eyes go vi glow violet, we stay close. If the eyes glow blue, we get out. Let's fight the Chimera. Violet, everybody in close. Okay. That was on me. I missed saw that they glow blue. Oh fuck, I did it twice in a row. Everybody in, everybody in. Okay. Limit break, come on. Limit break, there you go. There we go. G G. That was a dungeon run. It was a thing. respectfully I will appreciate that okay that was something Someone tampering with shipments. Fury, strike me down. If all them rosaries found in the other people's possessions were planted, 
Hey now, don't you give me that look, Lass. I'm a house Hallianarde man, through and through. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family, too. I ain't saying the porters what were bringing the shipment did it, though. I know most of them that work the trade routes, and I'd never, I've never had a cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it. Eh? Could it have been the fellas that what were responsible for the inspections? Heh. <laughs> Iscardian knights and inquisitors, the lord of them. As if they'd ever turn their cloaks. Reckon that means the porters are your most likely suspects. You hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming to Camp Dragonhead from White Brim Front this morning. You might consider having a word with them. Okay. How's my gear looking? Not terrible. Beg your pardon. You suspect that we porters have been planting Draconian rosaries in House Halianarte's shipments? What nerve! If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. You find a Draconian rosary hidden. You find a Draconian rosary hidden. Are we finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. But, but that's impossible. Once the knight at Whiteburn Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels onto the wagon myself. And if I had seen the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. Say what you will to Lord Horshafont, I will not be held accountable for this. But someone's gonna have to be held accountable. Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Ah, but more importantly, what did Rykerman have to say? More draconian rosaries, and every single parcel bound for Skyfire Lux, that beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully House Halianarte's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand, and praise alone that he did. Lord Francis' trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. From the very first, I knew it could not be that so many members of House Halianarte were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous allegations and put an end to this travesty. I will need to prepare a formal statement regarding these developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my words to Inquisitor Briggy. Tell her that House Fortemps asks, nay, demands that Lord Francil's trial be postponed until a full investigation has been conducted. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Where's Briggy? Hello, Briggy. What is it, my child? Hmm? Lord Horshafont would have the Inquisitors do what? But that is not possible. Inquisitor Guayam presides over Lord Francis' trial at Witch Drop even as we speak. Fear not, if Lord Francil is indeed innocent, he shall walk in Halone's halls with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. Damn it, we're too slow. Horshafont! Horshafont! They have taken Lord Francil to Witch Drop? This is madness! The Inquisitor does not have sufficient grounds to subject him to that manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Morrigan... I would dispatch you and one of my knights to Witchdrop to forestall the proceedings until such time as I am able to join you and petition Inquisitor Guayam in person. I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Francil alive. You got it, bud. Let us be on our way to Witchdrop. Ariel. Hail, Morgan. As you can see, Lord Francil yet lives. You must try to reason with the Inquisitor. 
But if the guards judge us as a threat, we must also be prepared to defend ourselves. I am ready. Let us do this. Joaquin Charlemagne, France of de Halianart. You stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers. These charges are false. The men and women of my line have ever opposed the Dravanians, and I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in service to the Holy See. Condemn me and you will strike a blow for the enemies of Ishgard. It is for alone to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from the cliff and entrust your fate to the fury. The righteous shall take their place in Halone's halls, while the wicked shall reveal their dragon forms and be put to sword. In the name of House Fortemps, I beseech you, stay your hand. Inquisitor, we come on behalf of Lord Horshafont. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Francil are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such time as a full re-examination of the facts has been conducted. Lord Horshafont has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he should harbor private doubts I might have allowed, but that he would dare interfere in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See, I cannot. To defy the will of an Inquisitor is to commit heresy, a crime for which there is but one punishment. We must hold them until Lord Horshafont arrives, Morrigan, and remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Look, look, Lord Horshafont has come! In the name of House Fortemps, I demand that you lay down your arms. Ishgardian scum, today you shall answer for your sins. Come here, Wyvern. Duty complete. It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop. But this trial, like many others I fear, has been orchestrated by enemies of House Halianarte. They have used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother, that we may tear ourselves apart. The fevered imaginings of a desperate man. What proof have you of this? By the fury, a draconian rosary, then the knight who refused to yield. It was he who summoned the Wyvern. A heretic in the ranks of the Temple Knights. 
This has grave implications. Your claims would appear to have merit, Lord Horshafont. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Francil, pending further investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of that which first brought you to Carthus Morgan. Pray locate your errant airship and use it. Lord Horshafont, I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy. You're too loyal to betray Ishgard, and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you'd have jumped of your own free will. I, I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Halionart. Praise alone, it did not come to that, but it profits us little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit this place, Morgan. Pray visit me at Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. I'm hoping we can make it to Stone Vigil today. Because that'll put us on a very nice um, track to finish the main of Realm Reborn expansion in our next stream that we do of this game. Which, who knows when that'll be. Because as I've said a few different times, uh, my second child is being born next week. Which means streams are going to get a little... Uh, sporadic and weird times um if at all for a while but yeah you look well morgan may i say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skillful warrior were it not for you lord francil would surely have died defending the honor of his house and i might well have perished at the hands of a heretic and his wyvern house four temps and house halionot Shall never forget your service. Now let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. The man with knowledge of the enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. How quickly the commoner's opinions change. They say Lord Francil is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway... <coughs> You were inquiring as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Coerthus several days before the Calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during that period. I shall recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gridania and landed near the Stone Vigil in the northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Horshafont is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhap he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Oh, back to Horshafont. Oh, so you, lo you have last located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil. Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree of House during there. I will write a letter to Lord Drillamont of White Brim Front, in front and ex request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you request Lord Francil do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys, Morgan. May Halone guide you.
Wonderful to see you again, Morrigan. If there is anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the stone vigil. It shames me to say that it too was once an outpost held by House Halion Art. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Javanian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Durandare instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillamont. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The cravens who attempted to destroy House Halionot have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us and towards you now as well. Right. Deliver the letter to Lord Brunadier. We should have a couple gooboos to kill along the way. Snowstorm Gooboo. I kill four of those. Do I see another one? I do! And then there's one back there. So now we just need one more Snowstorm Gubu, which I think there should be one along this path. There it is. Come here. Sickly sneeze. Not a mossy sneeze that time. Hey, we're level 48. And our last, uh... Our last... I'm drawing a blank. Hunting log is in Outer Lanosia. It's the grenades. not in here. I went completely the wrong direction. Whoops! You desire an audience with Lord Drillamont, do you? Ha! Huh. I desire a night, in warm, a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lords Horshafant and Francil, is it? Likely. Oh, you're serious. What to do, what to do. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillamont's attentions are focused solely on the Stone Vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Albois. Yes, Sir Albois can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. First, talk to the Chukabuki.
Sir Brunadair bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillamont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for head Shirajan Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? We are just getting the runaround. Ah, Astidian. Are you here to visit a patient, madam? What's this? Letters of introduction from House Fortemps and Halyanar. With documents such as these, you needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak with Sir Gudana. He should know Lord Drillamont's current whereabouts. Yeah, that sounds about freaking right. <sighs> I'm so freaking annoyed. It just keeps sending me this way and that way and ah. Uh. Go up the stairs. What reasons have you for barging into? Oh, I see. Well, you are in luck. Lord Drillamont is just up these stairs. Let us know, though, I would not expect much. House Durandare as a whole does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect, and it shall be returned in kind. Good to know. Sir Gudna permitted you passage. Very well. Speak. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with Scalekin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the Avatar of the Fury herself? We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drillamont. You know our name and you know our deeds. We are come to Kerthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sid Nan Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive, but that's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Nishgardian history, as House Durandare marshals its forces to retake the Stone Vigil, who should appear in White Brim Front but three mysterious strangers? Sid Garland, missing and presumed dead since the Calamity, and two Scions of the Seventh Dawn. A defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should hope that House Durandare would have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believed this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the Pout Post until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be moons before House Durandare purges the dragons from the Stone Vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, Morrigan, we must do whatever it takes to earn Lord Drillamont's trust. Understood? You, the last responsible for that commotion upstairs? I word travels fast in white brim front. I gather you still wish to change Lord Drillamont's mind. If there's one thing I've learned about the man in my time here, it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Went over the barracks, and he's sure to take notice. How, you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contained no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm 
thinking we could compare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. Twouldn't be a quality meat, tis true, but I'd be damn, it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Danathan Pass? And take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying their skin. You got it, buddy. I'll do what I can. Let's go. Do -do -do. Right? We both stunned it. Damn, Vex, you you on top of those stuns. I'm genuinely kind of like, what am I supposed to do? I thought stunning was my job. Didn't work, did it? I I thought it was an idiotic idea. Oh dear, remind me to never wander near Mud Puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, this should only take a moment. I'll just need you to do this and this and voila! Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and up above. The Ophelian. You there, lass. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a stake, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. Wahahaha, <laughs> yes, yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits besides. I, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. We ought at least have receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken waste. Is that a fresh cooked steak? Alone's blessing be upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meter, no, it's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Ever must we train to maintain our skill of at arms, yet never are we to receive proper sustenance. You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that House Durin Dare must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Back down here to Hostafort. Feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, but I've forgotten about the hard-working Shirajans at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking this steak to Kanoda? She's doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she's neglected to attend to her own. Yeah, I can do that. Here, let me get on the bike. And we'll ride. Dun 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 She must be upstairs. Not Charmaine. Sinoda. I beg your pardon, madam, but I am busy attending to this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that... Come to think of it, it's been quite a while since I last ate. 
I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest right away. Might I have a word with you, Mulligan? It concerns the chirurgeons. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient alembics for their needs, you see. So I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic, both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories, since working with my hands kind kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device are the cores of three ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. Alright, Sid, so you say you need three ice sprite cores. <coughs> Alright, then I'll get them for you. I spread over here is mine. All mine. I just didn't want to have to go run far for one. There we go. Deliver the cause to Sid. Ba da da ba. Run, run quicker, Morgan. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. What an amazing device! But is it truly an Alembic, sir? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine, while certainly impressive. I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, it is as if, if it is as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder... Where the, wait, where the, the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost succumbed to the temptation proffered by these... these unbelievers. I'm gonna kill this bastard. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francil's trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Before we can persuade Lord Drillamont to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Guayam that we are not his enemy, but just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor. Despite him being such a prominent figure in Carthus, perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of Whitebrim Front. 
Share your findings with Alphano in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Got it, bud. Alfie. Wait. Inquisitor Guayam. Yes, of course I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to Whiteburn Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I awoke, it was days later in this very bed, where I have lain, recuperating from my injuries ever since. I tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Guayam rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, madam, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. underneath. That means it's in the storeroom. Bum ba da 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 bum bum. Inquisitor Gayam, I haven't the foggiest idea of whom you speak, unbeliever. I, we have learned of your deeds at Witchdrop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Okay. That's how you want to be about it. Then that's how we'll be about it. Patrick, my friend. What do you got for me? Under Inquisitor Guayam's watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly righteous man to protect us. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Alright, Alfie, what do you got? In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. <sighs> Never mind, our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you've been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtain, Morgan. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor Guayam's motivations. Something troubles me about the Wounded Knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the Eastern Gate. Yes, but the main road leads to the Southwestern Gate. Since we've arrived in Whitebrim Front, front I've seen no travelers arrive by the Eastern Gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from north of the Eastern Gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but a deep chasm. Assuming Ser Joulat is not risk remembering, the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. This way. Down here.
There we go. Snow mount. What is inside here? An inquisitor corpse. <gasps> no. What could this mean? Is the is the inquisitor an imposter? No. That's too. No. Permanent. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Hmm. Given the contents of this encyclical, encyclical, I believe that you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Guayam. Newly come to Kerthus and murdered on the day of his arrival, yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a palpal appointment? Still, while this is incontrovertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Morgan, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Since Lord Drillamont has already been turned against us, I fear that this encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony that supports our claim, yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us. Confront Sir Jalot with the evidence you have discovered, and see if it helps him recall the truth of that knight. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do whatever within our power to secure the Enterprise. Okay, Alfie. Okay. Please be better than what I currently have. Yes. Equip it. Finally, we have a better weapon. Oh, you have returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He is a paragon of virtue. A dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that is all a lie? If you are so certain that your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Pernilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. You! I do not believe I know you, madam. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Nope. Nope. Slash. Doubt. You know, don't you? Fury, take me, I prayed this day would come. When Sir Jalak gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Javanian abominations lashed out at him, nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about, about my family, secrets I had never told another. He said that if I kept his confidence, Sir Jalak and I would be spared. But if I defied him, Everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Ser Jalat to the infirmary, and on his first night in White Brim Front, Inquisitor Guayam was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing, seized whilst in possession of draconian rosaries, as I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillamont, wanted to put an end to the madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Francois was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of Whitebrim Front, 
so I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks. As I hoped, they were discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Hallianart, thus exonerating Lord Francil and casting doubt on the other recent trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Alone, forgive me for not acting sooner. Snow Mound. Suspicious Box. Present our findings to Drillamont. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you free access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. There had better be a very good explanation for why you were carrying these rosaries, and where did you find this papal encyclical? Fury take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic. <sighs> Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale, but this evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends, Morgan, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first, I must needs beg your assistance. Help me in my nights bring this infernal imposter to justice. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, there may still be time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Morrigan. Together, let us put an end to this impostor's heresy once and for all. A snow cloak. Baron Teen Croc. Good to have you with us, miss. When Lord Drillamont arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventuality? I am indeed. Let's do this. Oh. You needn't tremble so, child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Halone's halls, only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you that I have never questioned the teachings of Halone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My lord Drillamont, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are not, you are aware that I am at present conducting an invest interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I name thee heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Guayam, and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ho 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 grave allegations indeed. But you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? 
No, Lord Drillamont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? Ha! All are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillamont, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian steel fares against Dravanian fang and claw. Okay. Tank stance on. Come here, you. I want you focused on me. Ignorant swine. Soon you will know the futility of your faith. Oh no, I got petrified. See, heretic, you and your allies are no... Okay. I was going to try and read the bubbles, but they're going a little too quick. Crab, my brothers, grant me the strength to smite our enemies. Where's the worm hound? There's the worm hound. Don't want any of you in the range, in the direction of these attacks. There we go. Easy enough. My glamour's dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. <laughs> you may not recall the many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, white brim front shall fall. Defiant to the last, leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserve not better. Morgan, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in Ishgardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at White Brim Front and bring your associates.
quickly now. I think our next quest is Stone Vigil. And I think we'll just go ahead and run it today. And then end after the Stone Vigil and its cutscenes. Where have you been, Morrigan? The False Inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes, well, this was a tale always like to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in a long line of unfortunate impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. As I am sure you will agree, it is past time we entered the Stone Vigil. Pay Lord Drillamont a visit and remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will follow anon. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Guayam would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand, but you must understand, it seemed too much to hope that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn still lived, to say nothing of Master Garland. Never have I been happier to be proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter the Stone Vigil and retrieve our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It is the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Dravanians that now hold the ruin? In part, yes. I should explain. Shortly... After you first arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the Calamity. As far as we've been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any, assurance, any assurances that it has not been removed in the intervening years. For far too long... The ruin has served as a Dravanian foothold in Kurthus, from which they have struck out at us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have as yet been unable to drive them out, and I cannot say when the situation will change, or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Drillamont, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without discarding aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Nathalane of your impending visit. May Halone guide you, Scions. Hail, Morrigan. Lord Drillamont has apprised me of the situation. You may enter the stone vigil whensoever you will. Okay. Let me see something. Okay, we should be fine. Instapop. Okay. Okay. One of my DPSs is named Spud Spud.
Ooh, this is a big one. That was a fun pull, though. Good job, healer. Full faith in your abilities, healer. That was fun. That was, I feel really good about that pool, actually. I'm super happy. Yeah. I could have got out of the way of that one. That was for sure a tank buster. I'm sorry, healer. But that's all of my stuff on cooldown now. There we go. Vengeance is no longer on cooldown. on that. I don't need that. something. There we go. Oh.
right, here's hoping that I can hold out long enough with this. We got this healer. I believe in you. Probably not if I'm standing in multiple AoEs. We totally got this. It's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. The dragon is not our concern. We have come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for the launch. Morgan, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we are ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? That settles it then, shall we, Sid? As you command. They walk so slow! So you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests? A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers. The Ixal are nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would underestimate the great bringer of light, slayer of Afrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle. Assuming, of course, you live that long. She angry. She an angry dragon. Alphano, the dragon. Confound it all. Let us see how well your blasphemous gift serves you this time, Crystal Bear. Oh, that was poor timing. Nice backflip out, Dragoon. That was cool looking, Spud.
my stuff is on cooldown for about another 15 seconds. Well, that's fine. Because these are easy enough to dodge. As I almost stand right into it. Someone LB. There we go. GG. Thank you. I really hope the healer sticks around so I can commend them. Because I'm very happy with how well they did. But alas, they did not. But I got a player commendation. We take what we can get. Crystal. Morrigan, Morrigan, are you all right? Speak to me. Twelve be praised. I feared the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that etheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me. Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. What say you, Sid? Will she fly? <clears throat> yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. Tis a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. This is all so familiar. I... I know this airship. If I could just... Ah, it's no use. Let's go.
Let us head for Gridania. Oh, hey, we're there. Turn the quest in. Ah, uh, how I have longed for the more agreeable, agreeable climate of the Twelves would. Yet I will not deny the Holy See had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Guardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? We'll at least pick up this next quest. Ooh. It calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising. You did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wrestling this benighted realm from her talons, it must needs be soon. Though I am no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is circled by a raging tempest, apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. Confound it. There must be a way. A way to brave the fury of the elements. The elements? But of course, that's it! We work upon the element itself. Using the power of a corrupted crystal, we could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battering. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, Morgan, we speak of the manifestation of over-aspected aether that can be found throughout Eorzea. Since the calamity disrupted the land's etheric currents, such crystals have become comparatively commonplace which has been cause of great woe, as they are known to warp etheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected aether comprising Garuda's barrier into ether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know who might. A scholar by the name of Lambertaint who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marquez met him. I suppose, whether out of pity or for want of a more willing listener, he would talk to me for hours at a time about his etheric studies, corrupted crystals being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marquez was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Morgan, we need you to return to Thanalin and seek out this scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. Perfect.
We're not going to go turn this quest in. We're going to go sell some stuff super quick and then we're going to log off stream. I just need to go find a merchant. So we'll just go right over here, purchase items, but we're selling them. High potion, high ether, high potion of strength, high potion of intelligence, high potion of mind. Night milk, raptor shit, buffalo, F, raptor, raptor, wolf, wolf, beastkin, bomb ash. Jellyfish, jellyfish, keep those, sell those, 24,000 right there, 2,500, keep the knight's bread, sell that, keep all of those, and now, none of these are better than what I have that I can actually equip, right? No. Okay. Perfect. Well, with that, let us switch back to Wolia. I'm going to end up going to the end, but thank you all so much for hanging out. I had a blast. I hope you all did too. Um, like I said, we'll be back Monday for the normal Mark Horror run that Sogo redeemed. Um... And that's probably going to be my last stream for at least a week or two while I adjust to having a new kid. Um, but we'll keep you updated. Thank you all so much. Have a good one.